What's going on you guys? It's Tulu here. I'm going to be telling you guys how to attack the stub market with the stub sale. So there's different ways you can attack it. So I'm going to be telling you guys the right way. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. Also, road to 2000. I'd appreciate it. All right, so let's go to live series cards first, and let me go through those real quick. No, not that. I think you have to go down here. We got live series. All right. So with these cards being inflated, what you guys want to do? If you guys are far from the live series collection being done, you guys should probably be selling these cards because it's not worth it to go for the collections in this state right now. Unless you guys are buying a lot of studs, which even then I don't even recommend because you're buying studs for like inflated cards. So it evens out. But what I would do, like you can see like all these 5k cards bumped up to 9k. Chapman was really low. He's back up. But everyone's gone lower. So I would recommend selling your cards right now. And then you'll gain more stubs back. Look, Zobra shot right back up because everyone's buying him. He's shooting back up. Um, Griffey shot up a bit. As you can see, all these cards. So, like, if you buy stubs with the sale, sale like I said, it's just going to be uh, the same thing, basically, because these cards are going up. So, flipping-wise... You guys could, um, if you guys wanted to flip these diamonds, um, so you have to look, what you have to look at with flipping is you have to look at usage rate. So how many people would actually pay up to get this card? So the ones that like are intriguing are the Zobris because everyone's spamming. If you guys want to make some big moves, you guys could flip that Zobris. Because the thing is about Zobris, it's like he's not going to go insanely down. With the equipment, you guys were having trouble selling it. Change it up. Sell socks. Sell cleats. Sell back grips. Sell all. Sell ritual. Sell that Babe Ruth ritual. This is the best ritual in the game. Because if you keep on selling bats, it's just preference. And like normally people either have the gold bat or the lightning bat you get from the player of the month. Like nobody's trying to buy these different designs. Buy things that people actually want to buy to upgrade their cap people are buying stubs and spamming these equipment um, to upgrade their cap so just make sure you guys are selling flipping equipment you would think they would want because bats it's just designs so it's gonna be hard to get an actual sale off that but um, with the sub sale one thing I have noticed is like so the live series cards are shooting up way more than the um, than the headliner cards and all that. I was expecting it, but um, I was expecting it because of the collections. But I didn't know it'd be like this drastic. One guy is the one guy um, who's went down in price is the Yelich. I haven't. I've realized that he's went down a lot in price. But with the stub set, also let me know how many of you guys are buying stubs. I mean, it is worth it to buy stubs. One idea I have for you guys is just buy it and then stack stubs. So if you guys are like Short, Shrout, Scherz, or DeGrom, all these guys, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea at all to sell Scherz and DeGrom. There's 80k profit on both of them right there. 80k. And then when you get them back, you probably save like 30k stuff. It's not a bad idea. It's actually, it's it's a really good idea in my opinion. Because these are bound to go down. There's no question about it. So, you guys got to be taking advantage of this. Let's head over to my team real quick. Um, so, if you go to my team right here. And we go over here. So, this Britain, I could also flip. I could flip this Granky I could flip because I'm I could bet on myself that it's going down this Rodney I would not bet on myself because he's a steal at his price Granky might be a card you guys want to sell right now because he might be bound to go down um, he's sitting at 70k right now he might go down to like 50 50 40 like we saw with that Kenley last year in like a similar kind of pack the Kenley was a beast he went down a lot and this is a stub sale, so I think it'll go down even more. Um, this Jake McGee is actually... See, I think he'll actually stay in price because 
A lot of people aren't willing to pull the trigger on Jake McGee. They think it's too much. So that's going to be an interesting card to look to going forward. How the um, the approach shit and all that. But the stubs heading into the new rank seasons. Being smart with your stubs is very important. Because, like I said, it's a new rank season, it's Hall of Fame difficulty, so make sure you guys are being smart with your stubs. And let me know how far you guys are from Mantle. Depending on how far you guys are from Mantle, I'll give you a, like, a plan on what to do. My recommendations on how to attack the stub sale. Because if you have collections done, you can pretty much chill. Because unless you wanted to... Um, sell Zobris or some of these guys or maybe Granky. there's not really a point though since you have the collection but there's still a lot of people without the collections done so to try and make things easier it would be a good gamble to sell some of the diamonds the one diamond I don't suggest selling is trout because you never know what situation you can be in where you lose stubs and all that and also he's barely went up in price because he's already 300 damn K so he barely went up in price so there's no point selling trout but the guys like Scherzer, DeGrom, Arenado I got Arenado for like 82k and he's 130 something K that's wild so it just shows you how big of a difference it is like a stub sale and I mean the sales are pretty good but if you're going for mana like like I don't recommend um, doing the sale or anything because it just evens out so um, but Zobris and all these cards I think I've said this before for guys who have done the collections already or haven't done the collection sorry don't get guys like Zobris and stuff because it's like it's like you have to think are these guys a need you know like I have to say in business are they like, like a need or a want and like is Zobris really a need when you haven't got man on Sheffield the bait the players you really need so make sure you guys are staying away from Hamels all these guys build up your stubs that was the one thing getting collections done early in the year was good for me is that there wasn't any tempting cards because there was no content other than the content they released on release so I was easily able to save stubs because I wasn't tempted I just did the face of the franchises Hopefully stage three is coming around. That'll be better for us. It'll be some nice grinding But let's see what the World Series reward is on Monday, I'm gonna be grinding World Series for World Series that first day get it over with get some stubs If you guys are also like besides the stub sale it ends on the 10th when this is over Try and make that World Series the first week. That's easy stubs right there the earlier you get it the more the stubs obviously so make sure you guys are grinding that right away and make sure you guys are taking advantage of this sale um there was two things i took away from there's two things i took away from the market with the stub sale is that like these cards it was weird like some people are saying sds like might control the market it probably probably not true but like as soon as it started like it shot the hell up like it's like there's so many people buying it and they just spam it because like i guess they're just spamming collections and stuff but it was crazy how much it shot up like 30 40 50k is a huge difference so i mean that's some of the things i took away from the stub so we're about midway in on the stub sale so this is the time to make a move if you guys want to like i said make that gamble on selling your uh some of your collection cards if you're pretty far away like i said leave it in the comments i'll give i'll get descriptive with you on what you need to do but if you think you're pretty far away make a gamble make a make 120k 160k and then when you buy them back easy subs could be used to another division almost or a few teams close to division every stub is important make sure you guys grinding rank make sure you guys take advantage of the stub so make sure you guys aren't getting tempted on these new cards even though they're great those are all the things I took away from the stub sale and I'm trying to help you guys out so I dug deep into the market and those are my suggestions like I said I'll help you out in the comments that's how you attack this stub sale that's what you need to do um it ends on june 10th so keep that in mind 
hit that sub button hit that like button let me know if you enjoyed these type of videos and i'll see you guys in the next video peace